Joe Powers grew up 300 miles and 10 years away from the epicenter of grime. The Edinburgh producer would have been more interested in plastic blocks than tower blocks back when Deja Vu FM was transmitting from the rooftops of East London. But his debut album as Proc Fiscal is one of the most original records to emerge from the genre's current burst of afterlife, possessing an outsider spirit all its own. As you might expect from a musician born in the late 1990s, Power's introduction to grime came not through pirate radio but the flattened digital vistas of YouTube, where he discovered vintage tunes by first wavers like Wiley and Danny Weed. Grime itself is always somewhat distant in Power's universe, always mediated, altered by the passage of time, or seen through a screen. Insular is a dense thicket, like an ocean giant that's churned a ton of colorful flotsam into an ad hoc territory of its own, isolated from its original destination. Over its 16 tracks you can make out the esky clicks and plinking 8-bit melodies of classic grime gooey synth tones lifted from ambient music cut up drums reaching IDM levels of anal retentive orderliness and random bursts of conversation captured on Power's phone. If my dad knew what was going on head fuck and eat your eyes, squeaks an adversary on Akil to Bui, one of several interludes that create intimate B-roll footage for his emotional narrative. These voices, often captured unawares, lend insular an intimacy that's often been missing from recent instrumental grime, much of which is tooled up for the dance floor. Powers can do rugged instrumentals too, his first EP for Hyperdub, 2017's The Highland Mob, was a more clinical interpretation of classic Kate Bar rhythms, while the recent Hello Boss EP took a detour through Jungle and Dub. But, as its title suggests, Insular is more introspective, a scrapbook of false memories and eavesdropped emotions. Vintage grime is broken and rebuilt to provide the album's basic skeleton. Most of the melodies are powered by sounds from old computer software and video games like Paper Mario and Pikmin, along with an arsenal of classic grime sources like the Korg Triton and the Plug Sound VST. The air is thick and alive, packed with clicks, squeaks, and whirs, as on the 8-bit sugar rush of Scotch Precog and the melancholy chimes of Future Headache on these tunes. The effect is strangely akin to the hyperactive collage beats of early Fortet in Manitoba. The nod to the past is more explicit on A Like Ye, a Scottish spin on Dizzy Rascal's genre-defining I Love You Elsewhere, standouts Apple Juice and Dishwashing expand the concept of esky clicks to include birdsong, helium voices, and the simple sound of breathing. Powers has said that these songs are about girls, depression, positivity, being unemployed, being employed, and hating it. Among other quotidian concerns his phone addiction also features, with social media notification sounds, providing hormonal spikes at random. On dopamine he addresses his addiction through a frantic beat and twinkling keys which have a distinctly eastern feel, a tribute to the historical meta-genre of cinegrime, coined by Hyperdub label Boss Code 9 to describe the theme of grime tunes with vaguely Chinese-influenced melodies. Those pretty keys appear throughout Insular in a style that also nods to the tranquil beauty of Yuichi Sakamoto's piano melodies. The Japanese composer has been a key influence on the current generation of grime artists, including Mr. Mitch and Yamineko, the former taking grime into the zone of minimalist RB and pop, the latter making connections with ambient and video game music. Their introspective deconstructions of grime machismo are obvious forebears too insular, but Powers has forged a sound of his own, too, scattershot and emotional, attention deficient and frantically detailed. As its filigree twists expand into every available space, Insula suggests there are still acres left to explore in this increasingly virtual territory.